Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the sixth solve example of uh, exercise uh, of chapter 13, surface areas and volumes. Uh, it says that the dimensions of a corn cob in the shape of a cone has the following dimensions. So what we are talking about is a corn cob out here. Excuse me for my drawing, it's not that great, but we are good in maths. Anyway, the, slant, the height is given as 20 centimeters. So when we talk about height, it's not uh, explicitly given that it's the sloping length. So we are going to uh, consider this as the uh, the perpendicular height from the top of the, so if this is your cone we're talking about your cone right this is going to be the height that's given we will have to find the sloping length in order to find whatever uh, whatever we need to find when it comes to a right circular cone so the height is 20 centimeters radius of the broadest end so the broadest end in the uh, cone is what it's the base so that means the radius of the cone uh, the base of the cone is 2.1 centimeters. It also says that 1 centimeter square of surface of the cob carries an average of 4 grains. You need to find the number of grains on the entire cob. So first of all, when you say 1 centimeter square, now look at this unit. This centimeter, cent this unit specifies an area. That means an area of 1 centimeter square covers 4 grains. We need to find the number of grains on the entire cob. Now we know that for a corn, the grains are there only on the curved surface area. There is nothing at the base. At the base you just have the st uh, stem or the stick whatever you may call it. So we will first have to find the curved surface area of this cone or the cob. Okay. Once you find the curved surface area, you can use unitary method to find the total number of grains using this value out here. So let's get started. First of all, we have been given with the perpendicular height. Let's go ahead and find the slanting height using Pythagoras theorem which we have learned that L is equal to under root of R square, H square plus R square where H is the perpendicular height and R is the base radius. So this is going to be now height is 20 square plus 2.1 square right so 20 square we know is 400 what about 20 uh, let's just find for 21 into 21. So 21 into 21 can be written as 21 into 20 plus 1, right? So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 420 plus 21. So this is going to be 441. Now what is the square root of 41? We know that the square root of 441 is, uh, sorry, here we have 441. But this will be... Now this is 2.1 into 2.1, so 2 decimal places, so 4.41. So this is going to be under root of 404.41. So we will have to find the square root of 404.41. Let's go ahead and find the square root. So you have 404.41. So 2, 2's are 4, you add this 2 over here as well, so you get 4 and then you bring, uh, bring down this pair. So 0 and I will get down this pair out here. Now 4 into what would give you, 4 and 1 number here multiply with the same number here should give you this number. But if I add any number out here, let's say even 40, uh, uh, let's say 1, so 41 into 1 will give me 41, but that won't go in this number, so I'll just say 0's are zeros are zeros are and I'm going to add the zero and I'll write down this as 40 add these numbers and I get 0 4 or rather I'll just bring down this 4 now we have a decimal point out here so I'm going to add a decimal out here and I'm going to bring down this pair of 41 so 40 into one number out here multiplied with another number the same number out here should give you 441. So let's check 401. So again uh, 401 into 1 will give you 401. You can't take 402 into 2 because it would give you something in 8 but our number is 441. So I'm going to say 401 1's are 441 sorry 401 and I'm going to add the same number out here. So this will give me 402 minus I get 
4 and 0. Now there is nothing over here so I will add another pair of 0. Remember that we always need uh, the numbers in pairs. Okay, So there should be two zeros added. Now I'll, I will get down this 0 out here. So 402 into one number multiplied by the same number should give you a number that is less than or equal to 4000. We know that see we have 0 towards the end. So the factors could be either something in tens or five. So let's check 4025. Um, so this won't really go. So 402. So now we have 402 and this see if I add another number out here 4020 into 0 see because if I take 1 over here again just like we did previously we will get 4021 which is greater than 4000 so I am just going to take a 0 out here multiplied by 0 400 zero, zero minus I get 4000 as it is. I am going to add another pair of 0 but before that let us add a 0 over here I get 4020 ok now I am going to bring down this pair of 0 down so 4020 into one number multiplied by the same number should give me a number that is less than equal to 4 lakhs so let us check 40205 into 5 5 fives are 25, 5 twos are 10, 5 fours are 20. So this is giving me 2 lakh 125. Uh, 2 lakh 1025. Let's check with 40208 into 8. So 8 is a 64, 8 twos are 16, and 8 fours are 32. So quite close. Let us check with 9. 40209 into 9. So 9 9s are 81, 9 2s are 18, 9 4s are 36. So I think uh, this should be 3 6, this is the largest number that you can take. So 3 6 1 double 8 1. So into 9s are plus 9. 3 6 8 double 8, 3 6 1 double 8 1. And subtract and whatever value you get. So we just need two decimal places. What, what we are going to do is see our number is 20.109. Now this number out here is greater than 5. So we are just going to add 1 to this number out here. So what is our solution finally going to be 20.11. So your length finally, please take a uh, note of this. So our length out here is. 20.11 centimeters. This is the length of the slope of your cone or this corn cob. So now we have the length. Let's go ahead and find the curved surface area. So I'll say curved surface area of cone or corn cob is equal to pi rl. Why we are finding the curved surface area once again? Because the grains are only going to grow in the curved surface area. At the base, we do not have any cons growing. So this is 22 by 7. Radius is given to be 2.1. And length we found out to be 20.11. Right? So 7 ones are 7, 7 point threes are. So this would be 6.6 .6 into 20.11. So let's rewrite this as 2011 upon 100 into 66 upon 10. Right, which can be further written as 2011 into 60 plus 6 upon 1000. Right, so erasing the con now. I'm sorry. So just rewriting 2011 into 60 plus 6 upon 1000. You have 0. 6 ones are 6, 6 ones are 6, 0, 6 twos are 12. Plus 12066. So adding these two numbers 12066. 
and 1, 2, 0, 6, 6. You get 6, 12, 7, 2, 3, 1. So, 1, 3, 2, 7, 2, 6. This is upon 1000. So, 132, 7, 2, 6 upon 1000. To get rid of these three zeros in the numerator, uh, in the denominator, we are going to go back to the left by three decimal places. This will give us 132.726 centimeters square. This is the curved surface area. Now we have the curved surface area of the cone. We can find the number of grains on it using unitary method. So I will say area in centimeter square and number of grains. So in 1 centimeter square, we have been given that there are 4 grains. So in 132.726 centimeter square, let us say there are x grains. So we can simply cross multiply and find the value. x is equal to 132.726 into 4, which is going to be 4 6 are 24, 4 2 are 8, 9 10, 4 7 are 28, 29. 4 2s are 8, 9, 10, 4 3s are 12, 13, 4 1s are 4, 5. So, 530.904. So, you can either take this value as 531 or you can take it as 530. Why? Because 0 0.904 does not mean a whole number, right? The uh, grains are going to be in whole numbers. So, if you want for rounding up, you can add since this number after the decimal is more than 5, you can just add 1 over here or you can just keep this number as it is. So, you can say approximately 531 or 530 grains will grow on the corn cob. Five thirty one or five thirty grains will grow on the corn cob. But I suggest that you go with this value of five thirty because here this is still less than one. That means at least five thirty actual grains are present. So this is the suggested value. Please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.